we are starting with a new chapter that is life processes. Now, what exactly we mean by this life process? Life processes are all those processes which are required for any living organism to sustain, maintain life. So, let us first write down the definition. Life processes, that means all processes required to sustain or maintain life. The definition is very important because here we are talking about all those things which are required to maintain life. Let us take an example. Say there is a cell, a unicellular organism like maybe amoeba or there is a multicellular organism like human. So, there are two categories. Now, what exactly we mean by this definition? What will this amoeba do in its life? Amoeba is going to grow. It is going to reproduce. It is going to move from one place to another. That means locomote. What is human going is going to do? A baby is born. Then the baby grows. The height increases. The weight increases. Once this baby becomes a young man or a woman, they reproduce. And during all these years, they do perform various activities like they walk, they talk, they move from one place to another. So, there is again locomotion. Now, how these organisms are able to do all these things? For growth, for reproduction, for locomotion, energy is required. So, for all these processes, what is needed is energy. How would amoeba get energy? How would a human get energy? We get energy from food. So, energy is obtained from food. That means taking the food, digesting it, using it to do all these things is nutrition. So, nutrition becomes a life process for us, for living organisms. Nutrition means we have taken food. Now, this food is to be broken down. We can break down the food in presence of oxygen or in absence of oxygen. So, if you want to break down this food in presence of oxygen, we would need oxygen. So, the next process becomes respiration. By respiration, we take oxygen and when we breathe, we take this oxygen and use this oxygen to break down the food so that energy is produced. And this energy will be used for all these activities. During all these processes by eating, digesting, in presence of uh, oxygen, breaking it down, some waste is also produced. So, we also need to get rid of that waste. So, that will be excretion. This is also a life process. Now, there is one more thing. Respiration, suppose we take our example. We breathe. So, oxygen, air goes into our lungs. From the lungs, this oxygen has to go to our muscles. Our muscles produce waste. So, from our muscles, the waste has to go to our kidneys so that our body can remove it. So, which is that system which is going to transport? This oxygen from lungs to tissue, waste from the tissue to the excretory system that is our kidneys. This is done by, in our case, circulatory system. So, our circulation becomes a, a life process. What happens in case of plants? Plants also need oxygen. This oxygen has to be taken. 
the food has to be taken. So, there is one more life process which can be termed as transport in plants or in case of animals, we will call it circulation. So, when we perform all these life processes, that is when we are able to maintain all these things. We are able to grow. We get energy for it. We are able to reproduce, locomote, from move from one place to another. So, basically we want energy so that we can survive, we can live. So, in other words, we can also say that life processes are all those processes which help us live. Not only a unicellular organism, but also a multicellular organism like humans, plants or any other multicellular organism. This is how the life processes play a very, very significant role. And these are some of the important life processes which take place in our body. And with the help of these, we will be able to live. So, this is our definition. Now, you can write down the definition from here. And I am sure you have downloaded the notes of this chapter. If you have not downloaded the notes, you can go to the website. The link is given in the description of this video and you can download the notes. Now, in the next part, we will talk about one life process. We will start with the nutrition. So, in the next part, we will discuss different types of nutrition and how different organisms obtain their nutrition.